Ladies and gentlemen, it's here. Welcome to Silver Run. I am so excited. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Giants for allowing us uh, early access, my channel, um, and my viewers to see this early. And um, I know there's other bigger YouTubers that got it too, but I'm just thankful to be part of that group that got early access um, so that I can get a video out before the game is released and allow my fans and my viewers to get a nice taste of what the game is going to be like through their favorite YouTuber, yours truly. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, what I've done is we've started the map Silver Run, uh, Silver Run Forest. This is the new map, and it is basically a logging map with a couple fields, uh, way less fields than I thought it would have. Um, but we are going to be using all the equipment that they've given us um, to log this map and make some money, build some roller coasters, build some sailboats. Uh, so let's go ahead and start touring. This video specifically is going to be a quick tour. What I've done is I've started the game the way that you normally would on easy. So the only equipment we have is the equipment they've given us to start with. And so I wanted to see what that was, first of all, and what kind of land we own. Uh, if this is even one of those maps where you have to own land to harvest wood or if it's if you get everything um, in the next video, we'll start taking a look at some of the equipment that came with the DLC. These are videos that are I'm going to all try to have released before the game comes out. And thirdly, I'd like to look at some of the industries. Uh, that'll be the third video. That's going to take some more time, though. So we're going to work on that last. Can we go in here? No, we can't. Here's our little home. Uh, this is where we start. And obviously, they've given us a, a very small house. Does this even have a... Oh, it does have an upstairs. So there's a bedroom upstairs. Wouldn't it be nice if we could go inside? I want to see if we can get in there. My imagination's running wild. Ugh, we can't. Dang it. I hate when they do that. Locked out. Um, I really wish somebody's going to make that openable so that you can go in. Um, so first, we have a couple new pieces of equipment that we have from Giants. We have the Volvo uh, BM tractor. It's like a four. Yeah, there we go. 2654. Ooh, I love the motor. Look at the colors, the details there. And uh, this is a, one of the, the many tractors that they've given us um, with this DLC or expansion. And we have a uh, winch for logging. I don't know how this works, but we're going to figure it out. Not tonight, not on this video, but we will. Uh, here we have, uh, they've given us a uh, forwarder. So as we chop down trees, we can use this to load them onto the back and bring them back down. Uh, I like this idea more than I like running the crane from the tractor. The cameras will probably operate a little better in this because of that. Um, but this is nice because it's an affordable forwarder. The other forwarders are like $300,000. Um, and then they've given us awesomely this tree cutter. So we have a Komatsu tree cutter. I, I don't know that this can handle the huge trees, but I know for sure it can cut down some of the medium sized trees. We'll have to see if they, I know that like giants uh, a while ago made it so that certain cutters cut down bigger trees and certain cutters cut down smaller trees. I honestly haven't done a lot of lumber, so we'll figure that out as we go. But let's take a look at the plots of land real quick here and at the map. Um, so we are here. And we have a town nearby. There's another tractor down in town, so we'll go take a look at that. Um, oddly, they didn't give us a pickup truck. Usually that's one of the things that they like to do is to give us a pickup. Um, but we have a town. And I don't... Let's see. Let's, the ownage map. Ah, okay. So these are plotted off in plots of land. And right now we own this, this, and this. I would imagine this is probably the sawmill. We'll go take a look at that in a second. But that... That's our land. Let's zoom back out a little bit. We don't own anything else. Um, as I was saying before, there's very few fields. Uh, we have one field here. And let's we'll see, one, two, three, four, five. You're going to need to have either cotton, lots of it, or sheep, several, <laughs> and some grass to mow in order to do this properly because – if we're going to do the sailboats and also the roller coaster, you need fabric and textiles. And so you're going to have to go through the process of making that stuff, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to um, hop down to the shop and see if I can't grab a pickup truck uh, to, to kind of tour this map a little better. I'll be back. I'm uh, arriving here in town. We've got this quaint little railroad station. I really like that. And uh, a pretty, this is a pretty vicious crossing. I, Good luck getting a semi truck over that. Oh, this is the platform. Duh. Look at that. Uh, I haven't seen the train yet through town. We'll catch it when it comes. 
But that's our station. There's obviously a depot switch here. This is probably where you grab the trains. Now, once again, the trains aren't something that I've used a lot. So I don't know if we're going to just load things onto the train or if we're actually going to drive the train. I would imagine we're probably just going to load it um, and drive it like a little bit. But And uh, there's the railroad crossing. I'm not sure exactly where this is supposed to be, but it does look like America. Um, I'm going to say Pacific Northwest probably. Somewhere in Oregon, maybe Washington. And this definitely looks like northern Oregon and parts of Washington. It definitely it definitely does have that. If you've ever been out to Washington um, State and gone out where the logging is, which I have several times, this is what the buildings look like. I mean, this, yeah, this looks really good. Look at that. Oh, there's a church. Somewhat modern, but yet still got some vintage looks to it. And I love these buildings with the facades. Wait a minute. Why is this? That's, the facade's on the wrong side on this building. That's... Silver Run Savings. There's the bank. Oh, that's cool. I like the way it's kind of like tucked back in here. What is this? Is this the dealership? No. Great Woods Gallery. Oh, that's... Oh, wow. I wonder if you build things for this. It's odd that it's open. That's interesting. Uh, we'll find out. And let's see here. What else we got? There's, I want to see what these... What's smoking over here? These homes are... What a, some kind of restaurant? Ah, no. This is where you make shingles. Okay. So this is the shingles. I mean, there's going to be points of interest all over this map, but these are... Some of the industries that you're going to be dealing with. Look at that. Framing. You can do frame. That's where you probably... Look at that. Like window frames and stuff. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and you can buy it. How much? 50000 <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> We're going to have to make a lot of money. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get lost in town here. Oh, let's take a look at the river here. We're going to... Oh, I love this. Yeah, this looks like America. They got it right again. So just like Elm Creek, um, they spent their time. They did their research. And uh, even, look, there's a guy, like an older guy with a cowboy hat. Yeah, this is definitely, like, you can see the roller coaster over there. We'll check that out in a second. But, uh, oh, this is, <laughs> this is beautiful. Is that, a, that looks like a train line on the, uh, it might be a, the train on the other side. Let's take a look at the map real quick. I don't think we can go over there, but oh no, we might be able. No, that's across the map, so I don't know what that is. But there is a train coming into town. Anyway, this is gorgeous. I'd like to catch the train if I can, but look at those. Yeah, this is definitely. I mean, this looks like Astoria. Just not the mountains, but this, I mean, you could you could put this anywhere in the Pacific Northwest, and it would fit in. Pump it up! Oh, that's the pumps and hoses DLC. <laughs> Farm sim self advertising. What is this? Dory's dresser. Oh, you can pick clothes and change skin. What is this? I promise you before the video's over, we'll see the train. There's a there's a dang dam over there. That's pretty cool. That's outside of the... We're right on the border of the map. Now look at the little boat. There's nobody driving it. Hey, your boat! <laughs> Sorry. I get a little excited about this stuff, I know. I was... I was squealing like a little girl when the <laughs> when I saw the map in the list. I'm like, it's here. <sighs> so it's been let's see, 2014 is the first time I played Farm Sim, and it was fi it was Farm Sim 15 because you know they come out the year before, usually, um, and lumber was the new thing in the game. So it's kind of cool to see it come full circle in my life, you know, six years later. Wait, no, eight, eight years later. And we're still playing the game and we're still enjoying this stuff. This looks like a tailor shop. What do we got here? Oh, no, it's a wood, work, uh, workshop. Lathe. 
Thrift me. So it must be like a... They must make clothes there. Uh, let's see what's in the back of town here. Ooh. I love this town. This just feels like, like that whole area there. And I... I that's one of my favorite places. I love the Pacific Northwest. I don't think I would live there because I've got lots of kids and I tend to not be of the same political mindset of most West Coasters. Not all, but most. And so I don't I don't think I would fit in, but I really love the area. It's so beautiful. And um Well, that's really pretty. I just think people would dislike me out there. Uh, anyway, local hotel. I was thinking, I, I haven't found the shop yet where we buy equipment. Uh, I'll, anyway, so I went ahead to end the town here now, and we'll see if we can't uh, see a train and see the roller coaster. So we'll be back in a second. So here we have a park that's reminiscent, reminiscent, reminiscent of Chippewa Lake in my area where we had a theme park go out of business and... You can find there all kinds of things like an abandoned roller coaster. And I'm trying to get up here and it won't let me. Come on. You get to rebuild this. It supposedly takes 11 stages to get through to build this thing. Um, but you can do it. And eventually we will do it. Um, but it's going to take a long time. This is a series that's going to run a long time on my channel. We are definitely going to be doing a series on this. And it might take us a year. It might take us two years till the next version of Farm Sim, pretty much. Oh, that was an O. I was like, is that like a fountain or something? That's the O. <laughs> Roller coaster. So this is the broke, broke down ride, uh, the broke down express. But it does get better if you work on it. Um, but we, and we are going to do that. We're going to get this thing ship shape. And then I do believe once it's done, you get to ride it. So this is pretty cool to be in the middle of it and see what it's going to look like. And so I'm excited. We're going to have a nice roller coaster here going up because of us, because of our hard work. Oh, I see the train. Oh, he's cooking. Look at that. Oh, I wanted to get a better view. Dang it. Wow. That's uh, fast for a switcher engine. They usually don't move that quick. It's the Switcher Express. Great. Now I'm stuck in here. <laughs> I'll be back. Here's the market in Silver Run. It's right by the roller coaster here. This is where you're going to sell produce that you're going to build. Not a huge thing there, but definitely going on. It's for those of you that are going to do a little bit of farming, which we will be. We're going to have to. Like I said, we're going to have to at least have sheep that we feed. So, and a lot of them. I'm probably going to have to do multiple sheep uh pens in order to um, get enough wool to get the textile shop going to get our products so that we can build sailboats. Um, now look here, we have, this is, I looks like this is going to be our loading platform. I'm not sure what they're calling this. Let's see. Uh, if we look on the map, it should tell us what exactly is this? It is the sawmill. Okay, indeed. And there's the shopping basket here. So I think we're going to go back there. That might be where we purchase equipment. Um, in fact, this is probably it here, if you look. Oh, okay, that is... I was hoping we get to see this. Yeah! So those of you guys who have been around my channel in the last couple of years know exactly how much... Oh, it's so beat down. How much I love the Manitou forklift. And this is like the big brother. Uh, I love using the forklift. It's easy to use, easy to control. And pretty easy to load stuff onto trucks with these. So we're going to be doing some loading with this. And I'm just excited to see it. There it is. And so they give you one when you start. That's pretty sweet. All right. And then this is the sale point here. So this must be where you buy your equipment on the map. Oh, yeah. Here's the dealer. Norman Abregau Gerebau. Okay. So German name. Interesting. I don't know. I mean, this kind of looks like Germany a little bit, too, but not really. It's, it looks like America. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. So you can actually, you can buy products. $10,000. Wow. They must have some that we made already. I don't know. 
$16,000 for wood beams. Prefab walls you can buy, planks. So these are all the things that you can buy from here. That's cool. Okay, so this is not where we buy equipment, but this is where we buy our, like, stuff to put places. I don't know if we get them for free if we own it, but we can even do some of these projects even if we don't own the sawmill. We can use money that we made to buy some of this stuff. So that's really cool. And uh, anyway, that's neat. Look at that. That's cool. Like all these stacks and stuff. And then over here we have logs. I don't know. This is probably... I'm going to get killed. <laughs> uh, this is... Yeah, that's the loading zone. Okay. Back here we have huge stacks of logs. I was thinking maybe something else would be here. That That's the train rental. Um, huh. I was hoping we'd get to make stuff like this. We probably will, but it's kind of interesting that they already have all these stacks and we really have nothing to do with them. Hmm. I kind of wish they would have left this empty and let us build our own stacks. And here we have the Silver Run Express. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> Lots of log cars on there and also empty cars for the new container system that you can do for logs. So we are almost at the edge of the map here on the, I believe, south western side. Yep. So we're going to head north. If we follow the train tracks up north, we'll end up at the paper mill. Um, so I want to go see the paper mill. So I'll be back. I'm going to walk over that way, and I will see you once I get there. Here's the Silver Run paper mill, uh, and that is in paper mill, and it is in a very scenic location um look at this this is just gorgeous right next to the train track now i don't think i don't know i'm not sure how you would get a train here unless you can actually control them but i don't i don't think that's part of it so anyway but this is cool it's right on the train tracks and then we have a road that goes up from the mille de papier we're gonna climb up the hill and see what's at the top. I still haven't found the shop to get a pickup truck. <laughs> there is one for sure, but. And this is up on top. Cool. I mean, this could even be Idaho. <clears throat> or Montana. See all these roads going in and out of here. But that's really cool. What a neat map. All right, so let's head over and see what's up next. Before I headed too far into the town or out of town, um, I wanted to show you. I did find the vehicle shop. It's actually in town. It's right across the street from the roller coaster. <laughs> did, I must have. I think I even mentioned it when I first saw it. But this is this is where we buy our equipment. So that's it. <laughs> Duh. Here comes the Silver Run Express. Going way faster than any train should around a corner like that. Jeepers, criminy. They should have slowed that down a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. Train buff here. So we're now up in the northeast section of the map, and we are here at the old sawmill. Um, so this is another place where you can sell wood, it looks like. Maybe make products. I'm not sure how it exactly works, but you can purchase. This is purchasable. Very expensive. Um, you can see across the way there's more lumber storage. Uh, I'm not sure if this one has the same shop feature that the other one had. Let's take a look here. I mean, um, it looks like it might. No, it doesn't look like it does now that I see this. So you might want to... Maybe this is the one that you can buy. I, I'll have to look and see. I'm not sure if you can buy the other one or not. This one you can definitely buy, um, but it's expensive. Hmm. Cool old school sawmill, though, for sure. Look at all this stuff. That's really neat. Here's a debris crusher, rock crusher. Let's see what it says. Doesn't say anything. It just has an exclamation mark. Okay. I must have missed it. What does this say? What does this do? I'm not sure. 
I mean, obviously, this is where the logs go when you put them in the water. They get sucked up here. They go up into the mill. And we can't go any further. <laughs> Dang it. Ah. Curse my chubby body. Crap comes out over on this side. Once again, not a lot of stuff that we have anything to do with, but it's still neat to see. This, uh, maybe you can, when it, stuff that gets produced comes out over on this side, you can obviously possibly load it onto a train and then sell it, or I'm not sure. We'll have to find out as we play. But I'm imagining we probably load them onto trains from there. Um, now, there's also a container shop up here. We're going to take a look. Uh, by the way, we had talked about in our preview video the different kinds of trees that are available now. Uh, you have three different types of trees. There's, um, I know spruce and redwood, but I forget what the third one is. But here you can see these are redwood trees, uh, giant sequoia to be specific. Um, and uh, you can get, you know, like I think it's cedar that you get from these. Um, obviously you get sequoia, but it's it's a, the type of wood is like a, it's a cedar tree basically. Um, but it looks gorgeous. And then over here we have our, um, this is the, sh I think this is the shop though. Hang on. Let's see. Where am I? Yeah, this is where it says when you click on it, it's called, um, the container warehouse. I'm not sure how you get containers though. What is that? Something you now you, let's see here. I mean, here's some containers, <laughs> but we don't own those. So I'm not sure how that works. We'll have to figure that out as we go. Maybe you get them once once you get the sawmill, you get the container warehouse with it. Because there's no purchase or anything like that. And then you can load the containers of wood and put them on the train. Uh, but once again, we'll have to look into how to do that. I don't know how to do that yet. So keep in mind, I only got the software and opened it like half an hour ago. Like when we first started recording is the first time I've seen any of this. So... It's pretty exciting stuff. Oh, now isn't that cute? So they've given us a whole kit to do mining. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, so we have an old Volvo uh, dump truck, and we have a mining vehicle, and we have this Iron Peaks Mining Company, and this is where you're going to do your mining. Uh, what does this say? I think that you put rocks in there, and you're going to... That must be the iron ore coming out. I'm not sure if we have to buy this. This, once again, all new to me. Doesn't look like we have to buy anything. Where do we dump it, though? Well, we'll have to find all this stuff out once again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not, I apologize. I don't know. I'm imagining we dump stuff into here. And then maybe it comes out on the other side um, through here. I don't, I don't think so. It seems like this is just... For cr for crushing debris, like junk rocks. And I know that's one of the things they've added in the game is that you can crush stuff. So, man, I'm looking forward to playing around with all this. Um, all right, so let's head up. I want to see... Okay, so this is the mine, obviously. Um, do we crush rocks? Is that the idea? Where Where does this go? Like, what's the end game here? No, this is all, this is not designed for machinery. This is all a walking path. So I'm not sure even where we quarry that stuff, unless we just get rocks off in the, the woods and then get it that way, maybe. Because like I said, I know we have, we have a new device for our, 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 um, telehandlers, not telehandlers, uh, the skid steers have a new device where we can crush up rocks and then we pick them up with the shovel and put them in the back of the dump truck. But I don't, I'm not sure if that's how you get your iron ore or not. You know, maybe it's just these rocks here that you break up. Like maybe this is the iron ore deposit. I don't know. Curious for sure. Or maybe it comes up from just the ground and you just have it. And you load it into the dump truck and take it to the facility and you just get it. I don't know. It might be that simple. 
Once again, not a lot of information on it yet. We'll figure it out before you guys get the copy, and we'll even make a how-to video. But for now, i got to figure it out myself. Look at that's a cool. This is cool. I love these old Volvo trucks. So it looks like iron ore mining is not as exciting as I thought it would be. Uh, basically, the mine does it for you. These rocks pile up out here. And you just put them in the back of the uh, dump truck here. And voila, you've, <laughs> you've got your iron ore. Uh, the more complicated part is that you actually have to buy an iron factory. They do not give you an iron factory. So you cannot take this and do anything with it until you purchase the iron mine or the iron facility. And it's $180,000. It's under production. And there it is. You got this big factory that takes and produces iron. You'll have to have the land for it also, um, which is fine. That's cool. But they do not give you one of these on the, the map. So you're going to have to work your way up. Uh, I don't think there's anything smaller than that. Yeah, there's all these other factories are there, but... Just seeing if there's any cheaper alternatives, but nope. That's it. <laughs> so you got to build the iron furnace. Well, you live and learn. That's fun. Not as exciting as I thought it would be. And man, this produces iron slowly, so it's going to take you a while to get a full dump truck. But uh, you can do it. You can do it. Don't touch any of that. Uh, all right, so let's move on. And so this is probably the last big exciting thing that we're going to see on this map. This is the sailboat launch. And here you can buy the sailboat factory for 125,000 freaking dollars. Uh, hopefully we make a lot of money logging because this is going to be tedious to save up and buy all this stuff. But um, And then it shows you what's required for the next step. Sailboats, I believe, are a two or three step process. 